Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Um, today I'm going to uh, work in my own personal art journal and I thought I would bring you along. Um, it, it's going to be the first page in there, in here. Um, and I have a new camera, a new, not a new camera, but a new setup here. So I hope this works and I, I know you can see part of my counter here, but I don't want to mess with it a whole lot. So we're just going to go with it and you guys let me know how it looks and sounds and everything if you would. Okay, so this is um, an art journal that I cut, a book, old book that I covered on one of my inspired art, I believe it was week seven um, weekly challenge. It was a video that got deleted and I don't know, I don't know what I did, but I accidentally deleted it or something. But we have our bookmark on here and like I said, it's I like the edge of the pages on here and so I chose this one from a thrift store and what I'm going to do is... I just use my glue stick and the front page on this is a little thicker than the other pages. They're thinner. Um, so I think I might just leave the front. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and glue probably two to this. So I just try to get some, uh, my glue stick close to the edges here and all over on my book pages. Oh crud, I just ripped it, that's okay. Yeah, these pages are thin. So then what I do is I close the book. Close the book and I rub on it. Okay, so then I open that, I got that page on there, and I just kind of rub that all flat. It's my own personal art book and I like texture and, and different, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I prefer it not to be actually, so. Just not going to try and push so hard on here so I don't rip the pages out. I mean, at some point we might rip pages out between the pages, um, but I don't want to rip them out in the beginning here. My glue is goopy. I had my heat turned high, now I shut it off. Uh, we're literally in a blizzard. Um, like you can't see outside, though it's windy and snowing and cold. So I turned my heat off because. Um, it's loud and it wants to run constantly. So if it turns back on, um, I don't know what to tell you. I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more. I'm just gonna do four um, throughout the book. And if the first page is a little thicker, that's okay. The very front page, I'm not gonna decorate or do it. I mean, I'll I'll put my name and stuff in there or something. A book, you know, different whatever I decide to on the front page. But I want that to be blank for now. I don't want any mediums or anything on it. Okay, so we have four pages there glued together and now it makes for a really thick page. So as you can see, the, the pages in the book are going to be thick. Can you hear that? Okay. So now I have four more this way. I guess I could have done this before I turn the camera on, but I wanted to see wanted you to see what I do um, when I'm. And the reason I thicken these is I'm gonna use a lot of mediums and anything I want in this book. So I want the pages to be able to, you know, hold different mediums and stuff. Okay. So we have two, two more times with this, guys. I was thinking um, I should actually get out some like eight and a half by 11 paper and do an art book on those. Um, and then I could scan my backgrounds and make digitals. I think that would be fun. You get so many different looks when you use different mediums and stuff. Okay, so I think that was three. Yeah, we have one more. This one's definitely thinner than that front page was thicker, so. But I think four will be just fine. Yeah, my glue is all goopy because like I said, I had the heat turned up because I have to turn it off. So I start out sweating, and then by the end of the video, I'm freezing. <laughs> okay. 
That should be good. This is the page I want to leave blank. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the front yet. So, just kind of pushing the bubbles out of that. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be thick enough. So. So what I'm going to do now is, I wish it would lay flat. It will when we get further into the book. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to collage and um, I'm going to use a distressed collage medium. It's matte. It's kind of like Mod Podge. I want the whole entire the whole book page covered with this. It kind of seals it for your mediums too. Um, but we're gonna use that as well to glue down things. So I'm just gonna smear a layer of that all over in here. Try not to get it. I should have grabbed some pages to put between my pages, but it's okay. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Paint my hand. <laughs> you can do this with um, matte gel, medium, um, Mod Podge, this collage medium, gesso, um, transparent gesso if you wanted to keep the book page. And see how it bubbles and wrinkles? I'm okay with that. I Like I said, I like textures and stuff. Um, I've personally never used the collage medium, so it'll be interesting to see Oh, I do like that. Um, I'm just going to get this wet again here. And kind of just build layers. I have no plan at all. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff around me and I just kind of glue down. So I hope you guys are all having a good day. Like I said, we're in the middle of a blizzard, so Josh got sent home early from work because of it. So, and I think tomorrow is actually going to be worse than today. Today I'm filming this is Monday. It's, um, the kids don't have school, which is a good thing, but they, they had to work. So, um, we live about five miles out of town and the kids all work in town. So they stayed, my oldest daughter, um, and my son have apartments in town. So they stayed with them, um, to be able to get to work today. So my niece and a couple nephews stayed there as well so that they could get to town. This is just scrap rice paper. It's so bad when I go to let the dog outside or go to the bathroom, I just didn't want to go outside. <laughs> I think it will blame you. <laughs> Open the door and it looks at me like, are you crazy? You really want me to go out there? Um, yeah. <laughs> Go do your thing and come right back in. I didn't grab my heat tool, but we're probably going to need that um, too. So let's see. I want to do some on this side as well. I got to grab some more scraps here. And we're just gonna go with the craft paper. What do we have here? We have some old newspaper. Why not? I don't like that that lined up on the bottom there like that. So just put another scrap on there. Maybe we'll go.
I'm gonna put white gesso a little bit over the top of this so you're not gonna see it all anyways. Um, should we just do one page today? Let's just do, well, we have it here, we might as well. Sometimes I just do one, sometimes I do a whole spread, doesn't matter. This is um, pattern, like pattern paper, so that's cool. That'll work well. Like your scraps of your scraps work well for this, when if you're doing this, like the scraps that you never use, and, but you don't throw them out, so they just always sit in your bin. I think you guys probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So far, I think this collage medium is pretty neat. We're gonna add a little bit of rice paper. Okay. Let's see, I think. I'm gonna add just a smidge more of this right here. And then we're gonna call that first layer good. Okay, so plop that in my water over there. And then, so this is all covered. Um, I am gonna go and grab a heat gun. Okay, so it's still, it's still a little bit sticky, um, but that's okay. I really should grab See how I'm gonna glue all the ends together? I don't really want that. Um, so let's see here, what can I grab? I just have a big piece of scrap. I don't know, we can block some of it off there. Okay, so it's still a little bit wet. Um, I just have a heavy white gesso here. Just making sure this one doesn't dry clear and it dries white, yeah, it does. And I like to just use my fingers on this and I just put a couple blobs on it here and there. And just kind of rubbing that around and you can kind of move it wherever you want. So I like to um, kind of soften the edges and stuff but I do want to be able to see a little bit of it um, and then I go back usually and add more white kind of in it so this is I just like the look of it um, this is completely like I said this is just completely plain So I'm going to have like a focal point on here probably and I'm thinking it's going to be in this area so I really want to lighten that. And the edges of this. I'm going to need some more. Sorry, I get quiet. This is almost like I just get in my zone playing with this stuff. And...
I don't even know if I'm in frame here. <laughs> I want this side to be lighter, so if I choose to write in there with a marker or something, I can. I do want to see a little bit of it. And you can see the words, I'll put a little heavier layer of gesso. So you can kind of see, you know, you can see the, through it. It's just finger painting. <laughs> Can't wreck it. Add a little bit much on this side, but that's okay. Once we add our other, like, um, I have like, I think I'm gonna use, um, I have some, I don't know what they're, Stabilo brand woodies. I like to play with those. They're like the big, um, I don't know, they remind me of like little kids colored pencils, the fat ones, I'll show you in a second here. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm gonna dry this again for a second. And I'm just going to take and, you know, wipe a little bit off. Once it kind of gets sticky, you can do this um, and you can leave the crease, you know, it'll, it'll leave the lines in it too. And I think that's kind of cool. Okay. You will get messy. Those are the fun projects though, they get all messy. And I probably should have put something down my mat, but I never think about it until, I don't Clearly my mat is destroyed. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and close that and I'm gonna turn the heat tool back on again. Okay, so we have that. Now, let's see. Okay, this is what I was talking about, we have I have two different things in here that we can use both of them. These are the paint sticks. I had these for a long time and forgot I had them. They're really cool. Um, but let's see here. What is this one? Um, it looks black on the outside, but that looks gray. I'm not sure. No, I think it's black. Enough. Well, I want black, so I can use black. And let's see, I think I'm gonna use this in here somewhere. So in this, so we'll have black and purple. And let's see, I have a yellow washi sticker if we decide to use that or not. And let's see here, a butterfly. Um, but those are just things we can use. So I think purple, now let's see, do I have a darker purple, yes, I think this is the actual purple. And maybe a yellow. Okay, let's let's do that. You'd think I'm from Minnesota and a Vikings fan. That's funny, I say that I'm wearing a Vikings t-shirt today. I'm not a Vikings fan. I didn't say that too loud around here because Josh is. Well, anyways. <laughs> the, that's 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 another whole conversation. <laughs> we won't we won't go there. Okay, so this is pretty dry. Okay, so I have my brush here in that I had my the collage medium soaking in there. So I'm gonna need another, let's see, we're gonna need this one at some point. And um, I don't have a little one here, so. Just 
just grab a couple of them. Oh, I did have my water brush here. We could have used two, but I don't know. I just like a paintbrush. Okay, so these work really well with water. And I have my sprayer. In a book like this, I don't like to use my sprayer that much. Um, but we can. So, let's see. I have... Sorry, I had some of these pinned up there. I like to get these dry, so... It's my baby wipe, so... Okay, now what we're going to do is I am going to set... I don't have a, my sink over here, so I don't want to run across the room right now. So I'm just going to set my brush in a baby wipe there so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so we take these, and I like to just follow along the outside. And it's like a crayon, almost. And I just, you just kind of, wherever you want to add some, like, on the tops of things, down the sides. I like to do kind of keep, like to stay out of here with the water. Um, and these take water, I'll show you. But... Um, some is going to obviously get in there. Okay, so we have the black. And, and I did that completely backwards. Usually I'll start with the lighter color, which would have been yellow. Now I'm kind of tipping this up. I hope you can still see it. And my water is yucky, but we're going to use it anyways. Um, I'm going to go ahead first, though, and I'm going to add some yellow, I think, just here and there. I don't want a whole lot of yellow or purple. I like the grungy kind of kind of look of things. So I end up usually, usually black is the go-to for me. Okay. And we'll just add some purple here and there. Not a whole lot. Not a purple fan, but Today we're going to use purple. Okay, so watch the magic here. Now I take my brush and I tip this up because I want it to run down. Now I'm going to pull this down a little bit here because I don't want it to run in my book. But watch what happens with that. They are so cool. And I just got those on Amazon. It's a little bit of water here and I want it to run. Is so and get in those creases, you know, where our tech or um, oh, what do you want to call it? where, you know, the lines from where our papers are and stuff. And get some of that yellow. And you'll, you'll see it. I, let's try and get some more here. Get the water to run. And it'll, it'll usually run and follow the, the lines and stuff. And it just looks cool, I think. I don't think I have enough on here to maybe get it to work that well. But like the runs, watch, it'll, it'll be cool. And then if you use your squirt bottle on here, it it does. And get some purple. I'm going to use the squirt bottle so you can see. But I have a bunch of yellow here. I want to get wet too, so. Just kind of go and then say I want it to be a little darker. Doesn't matter. It's gonna move around and go wherever. So, see that run? It's so cool. I think the yellow is lighter, so it takes a little bit more to get that to show up. But I don't want the black to run a whole lot more than it is. Get some purple here and there. But isn't that really neat? I think it's so cool. And you can move it around, you know. If you want some over here. So I think that's really fun. And now I'm going to take one of these. And catch that like in this crease here. Try to get a little bit of the water so it's not pooled in there. And then catch that on the bottom too. So, but I think that's really cool. I do want this here to go, let's see, up, I don't, up to the top of the page. Okay, 
So I think I'm happy with that side. And I just want a little bit of the purple and a little bit of the yellow. So I'm gonna come across over here and do the same thing on this side. If I can get that in there, okay. I don't know how much help this is being, but it makes me feel better, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna use the brush to start on here. Get some of that yellow moving. Okay, and the purple. We're gonna have to come back and add a little bit more, I think, but just move those around and get the black. Okay, we're going to darken it a little bit. Catch some of that, get that in that crease. Okay, all right, I think we need a little bit of purple on this side yet, don't you think? Maybe. Aren't they cool? I think they're really cool. Okay, don't see any yellow over here really. You can just kind of move the color around wherever you want it. So, okay, I think I'm happy with those. I'm gonna set those aside. And now again, I'm just gonna try to wipe and catch those. Okay, now I'm gonna dry it again. And so I'll have my heat tool going. Okay, so it's not all the way dry but it's drier anyways. Um, ideally, you could leave it set overnight and then come back to it. Um, so, just wanna see how much seepage I have here. See, that's what I'm talking about, but it'll dry and I'm okay. I mean, it's okay if, to me, if it's like that. Okay, I don't think I wanna use the washi sticker on here. Um, just, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But this is just, I was putzing on my sewing machine. It was, something wasn't right with it. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I like all the strings and stuff. So I thought I could put that in there somewhere. I mean, it's just, would have went in the garbage, so. I'm just kind of ripping the edges here. little bit, maybe, um, taking scraps and making more scraps. That's what I constantly feel like I'm doing. <laughs> Use scraps and make more. I mean, I'll throw these in the garbage, but. Okay, so I think I'm going to So I'm gonna use that somewhere. Now I'm just simply playing. I mean, you guys know how to decorate. So I don't know if I like that on there. Did I have another one here too? Did 
to kind of balance that out. I mean, not that we'd have to, but. I'm going to distress the edges of this with a little bit of black soot here. It's mine, I can't mess it up, you know what I mean? It, it is what, whatever it is, it is. And I know I like it, I always like to look back on them. And sometimes I add words, sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes they're very simple, sometimes I just leave the background mediums and I don't decorate them. I just stamped these on fabric and I was making snippet rolls and I had some extra ones. And I stitched around them and they're kind of messy and I really like them. Okay, so we're gonna distress this one a little bit. Doesn't want to stick because my page is a little wet yet, so I'll just kind of hold that on there for a second. And then I had a little piece of lace, I thought. I suppose I lost it now. You guys see it? It's probably laying right in front of my face. Really? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. It's like, I don't think I'm going nuts. Kind of like that loose thread there <clears throat> so i think what i'm gonna do is grab some i have black thread in my sewing machine right now so i'm just gonna steal some out of there and just kind of tap that on there and then we're gonna add some fabric to the back of this little piece Now we covered it all up anyways, but I'll pull some more out of there maybe. Now it's gonna bolt, bunch all together because it's all full of glue. <laughs> Get rid of some of my little scraps here. Okay, um, let's see. I feel like it needs a darker edge on it. Um, we could go back with those. Um, I could use a marker. I have some permanent chalk markers. Or, let's see, what did I do with that? I set it back under here where it belongs. Weird. <laughs> okay, do I have maybe gold? I think gold would be neat, do you think? Or yellow? Let's try gold. I'm thinking the yellow might be a little bit too much. And I'm thinking I might add black too, but we're gonna try the gold here and just try to get a little bit on the edge of the book page. These are neat. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just kind of puts a little bit of interest on the edge of it. I am going to find the black, not the metallic, but the, let's see, I have a black, it's a permanent chalk marker, and I'm just going to kind of put a rough sketch line along the page here. I don't want it to be perfect, I just kind of want to frame it, but I want to see the gold. So, just kind of outlining that. I think I just got these markers at Michael's or Joanne's or something. Okay, and I'm going to just add a little bit. On some of the where I can see the and go a little further. Let's see. I think we need some here. Just add a little bit here and there. And that was still wet gesso on there. Let's go. I think we need a little bit here. And then get some on the inside. This one as well. Oh, I could be completely destroying it, but it's an art book. It's my own art journal, so I can do anything I want. And that's what I like about playing in these. Because no matter what, it, it's just completely fun. A lot of times I don't write in these journals. I just make them pretty and look at them. See, I don't like that I went over that far with that, but now I gotta fix it somehow here. Okay. Well, I can cover that with gesso too. Keep saying okay, and then I go and add more. Okay, we're really gonna call that good. And then we can go over that. Um, we could go over that with um, gesso too. Like, let's see, I don't even know where I put it here. Let's see. Okay, say I don't like that as a little bit too, too much black. Got a little bit bold. I got a little bit too much gesso, but you can just slightly cover it. You know what I mean? You can come back and and we can come and let's see, let's put a word or something down here. So let's make that really bright white so it really stands out. And we're gonna put some more white here. But I want, I want down here to be really white spot. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. Okay, then same with up here. And we'll put some words or something. And just kind of tone that down a little tiny bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna dry that again. Okay, it's not all the way dry. Um, let's go ahead and Add, this is just my black stays on ink. I'm just going to add a little bit of script kind of light in the background. So I'm going to stamp off on here and then just a little bit, not, not all over the place. And I got just one in my stamp here. Just adds a little interest 
kind of look at it and you see, you know, more interest every time you look at it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Some kind of a word I want, I think, on here. Um, let's see. I know exactly what words I would use if I could dig that box out. I have some Tim Holtz words, but... Um, let's see. I'm going to have to call this a video pretty soon because it's starting to get really cold in here. Okay, this has a bunch of words on it. I think they're too small. Let's see. I like that they're black and white. So, I'm just gonna rip that end. And rip that end. And now, I'm gonna use my art glitter glue and I'm gonna put glue, a little bit of glue in the back of this so it sticks. It is pretty sticky, but it will peel up over time. Washi tape tends to do that. It's not permanent. So now my glue is plugged. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? So I guess we are going to use a glue stick here. Okay, let's get some more. Okay, sticking to me. It's a little bit crooked, but it'll be okay. Okay, let's see here. On this side. I'm going to do individual words here on this side, I think. Like rip them apart. Okay, and we don't have to have them always going the same way. So maybe, maybe we want this one here. Okay, let's see. A couple more on there. I do kind of like them separated, I guess, a little better. I mean, they work down there, they're fine. I just feel like I need something darker over here. Maybe that kind of rounds that off. I don't know. And now I'm going to have two of the white ones on the top here, which is probably going to bother me too. So I'll just go like this. And then let's see, what does this butterfly look like? I don't like the orange on there. Don't like that. But I mean, we can leave it too. You know what I mean? My hands are all icky. So it has some numbers. I think we have enough going on on there with that, but I feel like we need something right there. 
Wouldn't have to either. Maybe it just needs to be whiter. I don't know. I think it's fun. Um, maybe um, maybe a little bit more text stamp in there will do. My eye just kind of goes there and it's blank. So. <coughs> kind of a cough sneeze. I don't know what that was. Okay, I think I do like that now. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call that good. So that was very fun. It's fun once in a while to just get your hands messy and just just do it. So I'll clean all this stuff away here. Put our washi tape back in there. This is a Tim Holtz washi tape. Okay, move our water. I'm gonna put it over here so I don't spill it. Throw washi stickers away. Clean up our mess, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I was gonna splatter it with this brush with black, but I don't think I'm going to. You know what, let's, let's do white. I think that would be cool. Let's go ahead and try to do some white splatters um, really quickly. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just going to put a little bit, I don't have any wrappers or anything here, just a little bit of gesso and some water and a fan brush here. You want it to be pretty wet, mixed up good. And then should just, just a couple of splatters. Yeah, I think that, I think that's cool. And I don't want to do black because the text is black, you know, the script. I'm trying to get up in that spot up there, but there we go. Okay, I think that's good. I wasted a lot of gesso, but that's okay. So we'll put that in there. So, uh, there we go. Now I'm gonna just leave it open overnight to dry. I gotta wipe my mess off here. And there we go. There is our art journal entry one. I do like to um, date them. I don't think I have. Um, I don't have the year, but I I will write the year in the beginning. So what is the date today? It is February. I think I have no clue what day is it. It is Monday, February twenty first. Okay, I was like, what? Okay, so I don't have, I don't have, the numbers aren't on that one, it's the year. So I just have the month on this one. So we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna go right there. Oh, that didn't show up. Oh, now it's a mess. Oh well, it is what it is. It's mine, it's okay. February, now we need the 21st. And look at there, it was already on February. Could have done an all in one. Let's just do it all in one here. I don't know, I think I got this at a thrift sale or in a box of stuff I didn't even know I bought. Okay, we're gonna try. There, that works. Okay. So I'm going to, where is that gesso now that I had extra of? Just a small little tiny bit of that. I'm just gonna lighten that. Yeah, didn't do much, but okay. Okay, I think we're definitely done now. I hope you guys enjoyed that, I sure did. Every once in a while it's fun to just play in an art book. And just use your your different mediums and stuff. Anything goes. It's yours. It's your own. Just express your creativity. Creativity. You guys have a great rest of your day. And we will see you in the next video.